In this video, we're going to mount an AMA GS.3 worm gear box to a quarter turn valve. First thing we're going to do is we're going to mount our machined coupling that's been bored and keyed for the valve stem. And at this time, it wouldn't hurt to put some never seize or uh, some other type of compound on the coupling. And then we're going to drop our gearbox over our sp spine coupling. It can be mounted in absolutely any position. And then I put my bolts in. We want to make sure we use proper fasteners for our bolts. and we're going to tighten the bolts up to the proper torque. And we're going to tighten those fasteners crosswise. And once the bolts holding the gearbox in place are tight, we want to loosen and remove the four fasteners holding the stop housing in place. And because AMA uses a full 360 degree worm wheel, I'm now free to operate my gearbox to close my valve or put my valve in any location. And if my stop housing turns along with me, that's fine. It just means that the stop fastener is moving along with the input shaft of the gearbox. I'm gonna put my valve in a fully closed position. And then I'm going to back off on my stop housing approximately a quarter turn. If the bolts don't line up, you can pull the stop housing off to align the bolts, but mine, mine do. And then I'm just going to put my four fasteners back in. Again, tighten my fasteners crosswise. Now I need to adjust my gearbox indicator to indicate the true valve position. So I'm just going to loosen the top fasteners. And since my valve is closed, I'm going to turn my stop my indicator to the closed position. And I want to make sure that when I'm going open, it's going towards the open indicator. And my gearbox mounting is complete. And this applies to not only the small gearbox like I have here, but the largest gearbox in the 0.3 series all work exactly the same. 